first depiction of a god crucified on a cross was the depiction of Orpheus from the third century before Christ. But sad to say for a very large part of the world's population today, the central religious symbol is a person impaled in agony on that instrument of torture. It's little wonder that such a system should foster the belief that suffering is inevitable or even desirable and good, and horror of horrors, that it could be in some warped way seen as pleasing to God, and thus allow us to become so indifferent to suffering among the masses of humanity. An empty cross symbolizes the descent of spirit into flesh and celebrates the evolution of that life back into its return. The crucifix, by contrast, only idealizes suffering and death, an attitude which ultimately has to be said is not of God. Another major teaching that is quite alien to the message of the four Gospels of the New Testament and quite needed today is the beautiful hymn of praise for women which Jesus uttered when one of the spies of Pilate sent to keep track of him roughly pushed an old woman out of the way so he could get closer to the master and not miss any sedition that he might speak. Jesus said, whoever respects not his mother, the most sacred being after his God, is unworthy of the name of son. Respect woman, for she is the mother of the universe, and all the truth of divine creation lies in her. She is the basis of all that is good and beautiful as she is also the germ of life and death. She gives birth to you in the midst of suffering. By the sweat of her brow she raises you, and until her death you cause her the gravest anxieties. Bless her and worship her, for she is your one true friend, your one support on earth. And in the same way love your wives and respect them, for they will be mothers tomorrow, and each later on the ancestress of a race. Be lenient towards women, for woman's love ennobles man, softens his hardened heart, tames the brute in him, and makes of him a lamb. The wife and the mother are the unappreciable treasures given unto you by God. Protect your wife in order that she may protect you and all the family. All that you do for your wife, for your mother, or for a widow, you have done unto your God. 